Hey NYOU, my name is Scott Quirk, I'm a flutist from California and I was a part of NYO2 for the 2017 season. Over the past few years, I have struggled with quite a bit of pain from playing the flute, so today I am really excited to be sharing with you some simple steps you can take to play your instrument pain-free and avoid complications in the future. Tip number one, play with the correct posture. I know it can seem tempting to be lazy and slouch when you're playing, but this is one of the worst things that you can do when playing your instrument. When you are hunched over, you're putting your body into a really unnatural position, and when you add the weight and motions of playing your instrument on top of that, it makes your body really stressed and fatigued. So, make sure you are sitting or standing up straight with your shoulders back and playing with the most comfortable posture. The best thing for you to do would be to consult your private teacher on how to hold your instrument specifically. Tip number two, stretch. Before you pick up your instrument, it is vital that you do some sort of stretching. Stretching loosens up your tendons and muscles and prepares them for use when playing your instrument. Musicians need to think of themselves as athletes. For example, you wouldn't see a runner start to run out of nowhere without stretching their legs first, so why should we be any different? Here are some of my favorite stretches. First, extend your arm out in front of you with your palm up. Then, gently pull your hand towards the ground. You can also do this stretch with your palm down and pulling your hand towards the ground. Another stretch I like is called the prayer. Start with your hands in a prayer position, then slowly and gently lower your hands until your forearms are in line with each other and parallel to the ground. Try putting your arms in this position on top of your head as well to stretch the muscles further up your arms. Tip number three, take frequent breaks. This step is one of the most important steps you can take to avoid pain in the future. By taking lots of breaks, you're giving your body a chance to relax as well as your mind. Then you can come back to the next practice session refreshed and ready to go. You know that saying, no pain, no gain? Well, that does not apply to musicians. Pain is unnatural and it should not be happening. I would suggest taking a break for 10 minutes every 20 to 30 minutes of practicing. Tip number four, ice. If you feel that after a practice session you are more tired than usual, just apply a cold pack. Whether it's your arms, shoulders, or even your stomach muscles, applying a cold pack will reduce inflammation and ease pain. Last but not least, tip number five, visit a doctor. Although some pain and soreness is normal from playing your instrument for a long period of time, you should definitely go to a doctor if you have been having consistent pain or tenderness. The doctor will be able to help you get better and recommend you to a physical therapist if needed. So, to quickly recap, first, play with the correct posture. Second, stretch before you play and after if you would like. Next, ice any parts of your body that might be sore from playing your instrument. Lastly, go see a doctor if needed. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to NYOUSA's YouTube channel by hitting the button below. Once again, I'm Scott Quirk and thank you so much for watching this NYOU mini masterclass on how to avoid pain while playing your instrument. Happy practicing!